wondering what skin type you are and you're wondering how you can tell what your skin type is then this this is your place Hello loves, I really hope you're well because you have to be well for me to be well. I saw there are like 5 skin types, this oily, this dry, this combination, this sensitive and this normal. Those are 5 skin types. Up if you're liking and if you're not liking it, mm -mm. Yeah, let's subscribe right here. Please, please subscribe loves. Yeah, and let's share our video. Let's turn the bell on for notification because we're posting regular comments down here in the comment section down below. If you're liking this makeup look, if you're liking the eyes, yeah, tell me and you're going to create a tutorial. How to tell oily skin is when you really sweat a lot, you're oily. It's very oily and just oily. If you're sweating a lot, you're very oily. If you're just sweating, a lot but not a lot that's oily i guess you're understanding yeah what else will help you know if you're oily if you press areas like here okay i have makeup on but let me see like if you, you press around this area yeah like you can already see i don't know if you can see you see Yeah, some oil is kind of coming out then you can easily tell you have an oily t-zone area the test that you'll do is tomorrow when you wake okay you have to wash your face today before going to sleep and tomorrow when you wake up just take a tissue paper and press it yeah press it on your you'd press it around this area on your forehead and on your cheeks yeah see if it it gets like oily you will know you have oily skin i'm going to attach a video here yeah. Such. this will definitely fall off it can't even stick it is oily like i really have an oily area here yeah okay, let me show you i don't know if you can see yeah, you see this oil the tissue comes out with a lot of sweat then you have oily and okay how to tell dry skin is like when you pinch yourself it's going to take time before it goes back to normal the thing that you can do is to like wash your face with hot water and hot towel and it will get very very sticky like hard to stretch and that is the easy way to tell you have dry skin if not so you can use the tissue paper and when you place it on your face it will come off without any 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 sweat and it is actually going to fall off because it can't stick without the sweat yeah the others are easy to tell because for combination the tissue paper will stick around here and here and will fall off around this place then you'll know you have combination skin for sensitive then your skin reacts very very quick with most of the products and you need to have the patch test and for normal it won't be very sticky it will have a little sweat when you place around your face yeah so those are the five skin types and tips if you oily skin you need matte products you really need matte products because of the matte finish like for me i have this matte matte foundations yeah you can see it's matte and poreless oily you need matte products for the matte finish again something i forgot if you oily your pores are very very visible yeah so we'll need some pro you'll need some products which won't show off the pores and they are the matte products they give you a very matte finish yeah, with the matte product you won't sweat all day long so your makeup will stay intact all day long yeah it won't transfer like for this makeup look i use this fit me yeah and this is how it is and it as it is at night yeah so choose all matte all matte for oily and if you dry 
for the tips and hacks for dry skin you need hydrating products if it, it is your foundation it should be hydrating for primers for setting sprays for everything choose hydrating because you need something hydrating the hack for primers is clear primer for oily and cream primer for dry like clear like water very clear for oily and cream for dry i know rimel primer is good for oily because it gives you a matte finish so if you're looking for the best primer to use search for rimel i don't have it right now but rimel is good for oily becca becca is for i don't know i'll confirm if becca is for oily or dry and i'm going to tell you again for dry skin uh an example of a foundation that you can use i know super stay yeah i know super stay is good for dry skin. black opal if you dry go for the black opal in a stick because it, it it gets real oily so if you dry go for the one in a stick and if you oily go for the one in a bottle the in also if you're thinking like you can't be able to get those products because the price might vary a little bit higher then there's something for you they're not leaving you behind such this is the galazi tea and kiss beauty is another good deal yeah the only problem beauty is that they have three shades one two and three so you have to fall in between any either of the three yeah if you will light or you light you go for one middle and dark three yeah so that's the only bad thing about kiss beauty i've used such from kiss beauty i've used green tea and it was super awesome yeah i've used this kiss beauty i've used this galazi the other from kiss beauty nation you need to know what side you're going to fall you're going to know what side you're going to fall to if you think that the oily part is the biggest then go to oily if you think dry is the largest go to dry and if not so buy products for oily and buy other products for dry for normal you're the happiest you're the most blessed so yeah you can use anything if you want a matte finish go for matte products if you want a hydrated finish go for hydrated hydrating products the tips and hacks for sensitive skin is to always always sanitize your products before using yeah you need to sanitize them number two you need to use your products alone like if you're having a beauty blender use it alone the brushes the applying products they should be used and just alone do patch test before using a product yeah again for sensitive skin when it comes in things like like exfoliating you need to do it like once in a month because your skin is very 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 sensitive yeah and it doesn't want a lot of disturbance a lot of scrubbing and sort so maybe once in a month should do if it comes to like the other skin types maybe twice a month will do i'm a once weekly will do i do my most of the time i do i do my exfoliating once a week yeah those are four times a month whereby for sensitive it should be one time a month something again for sense yeah again and again and again for sensitive skin when it comes to checking your product please 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 go to products that say alcohol free yeah don't use products with alcohol go so basically i tried to analyze yeah analyze everything about the skin types i tried to tell you what product you need to use for your skin type yeah and i just guess i told you everything i love so this is just another video for us but before this let's subscribe here down here let's subscribe